Hi, this is Susan Leventero. Now we are on Pisces Singles and we're going through the 12 zodiac signs. And this portion is Libra through Pisces. Okay, so now we're on Libra and we're asking, should I ask uh, my crush on Valentine's or on a date? All right. Should Pisces ask Libra out on a date or for Valentine's? All right, let's see. Seven of gems. All right, let me keep shuffling. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. The nurture, the passage. Two of gems. Okay, so what I'm getting is, uh, okay, some Librans are trying to work some stuff out, so they may not be in the mood. Uh, okay, but things should improve. Let's pull one more card. Energy. There's that magician card again. Opportunity and yes, uh, some Librans are going through some stuff, trying to work out personal stuff. So, um, Three of Roses is showing up here. So, they could be working on some family stuff or some stuff. So, Let's look at this one, see what this says. Two of gems. Maybe. Got a maybe for Libra. Okay. Oh, yeah, we read this already. You or someone you love must cope with constant change and our busyness. Stay centered and flexible. Keep yourself informed. Allow yourself to be whoever you want to be with whomever you are with. Now is a time you may want to keep two or more relationships going rather than focus on just one. Oh, okay, that's why that three card came out. Keep your options open while you take the time to figure out how you really feel. Stay busy and involved in a variety of activities. The issue you must focus on now is how to best manage relationships, career, and family. You might meet someone special under extraordinary circumstances. Yeah, so I got the impression that Libra's been working on stuff. Uh, so, there's that. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, Ace of Gems and Prince of Roses. Okay. Let's pick another one. Okay, so what I'm getting here is this Scorpio doesn't have as many options as you think. Okay. 
and what's on the bottom this Scorpio's uh, one I'm picking up <clears throat> the energy is working hmm Okay, so some scorpions are busy working and trying to manage emotions is what I'm picking up. Okay, so let's see. Let's pull another spread. Okay, so uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, if if it's something low stress that would cause a less amount of stress would be better. Okay, and works on the bottom, so uh, they may be working, but. Um, there is that potential there. It says the luck can be on your side and whatever it is, I would do something that is like perhaps, uh, offer, uh, facial massage or if you don't want to get close because of Valentine's day or whatever, do just do something that's going to be minimal stress or no stress. All right. That stressed me out. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah, that, that my neck got tight all of a sudden. Mm. All right. Felt like it was pinching. Look at all these cards for Sagittarius. What's going on here? Okay, so I feel like in the past, Sagittarians, uh, I would say as a collective, want somebody who's going to honor them and is on the positive side. They may not be right now, some of them. Okay, due to uh, stuff. Change right and was not willing to change so what happened hmm okay so some things went down probably over the holidays I'm picking up for some but here's this wings triumph so let's pull some more cards and see says work okay so if you can get them away from work oh that's kind of like the um it's feeling a little bit like Scorpio so it might be cusping Scorpio Sagittarius okay so what's the next one out okay the bottom the messenger um the suggestion then is to go ahead and give a message and see how that is responded. And then go from there. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, so at the end, I'm going to do the five ideas for Valentine's dates. Okay, yeah, a lot of Capricorns have been trying to uh, manage their energy and trying to get balance again. Okay, this was the past. Okay, so... All right, so this particular Capricorn is trying to work through a past cycle. Okay, so let's keep shuffling. So if you know a Capricorn that's been going through some past stuff... Uh, I would leave it alone for now. 
Okay, or you could do it just like the Sagittarius, where you just give a message and see how, how that goes. All right, and then go from there. Follow your instinct. Okay, so not moving is what I got. Okay, so let's keep picking. We got to get something. All can't, Capricorns can't be. All right, so let's pick up some more. Okay, Ace of Gems. Let's see what that says. Woo! <laughs> that was work. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ace of Gems. Yes, you will soon be rewarded. You will finally attain and make the most of what you have hoped, planned, and worked for. Oh, yeah. So that means be the Imagineer and feel those places out before uh, you, you know, you do those steps. Okay, it is most likely a greatly improved love life, but you may also win something giving you more wealth, power, and status. It may come to you as a realization of a dream, gift, inheritance, bonus, promotion, or other rewards. Sex appeal, new adventures, and good chemistry between you and a partner who, who loves you are indicated. Good news regarding children and animals is also indicated. Okay, good news regarding children and animals is also indicated. Savor this time and realize that you have earned it whether you or anyone else thinks you have. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, with this message is, if there's an Aquarian that you know that has Scorpio in their chart, um, you might want to reevaluate uh, doing that. Because they might be a little bit, uh, what is that? Reserved is the word. Okay, so here's Seven of Gems. Right, so because of the, if you're the kind of Pisces that uh, doesn't, that is more inwardly, and it may not be a good combo here. So let's see, let's pull another one. So then it would call for you to be more open and talkative also, and to um, communicate openly with this person. All right, let's see if we can get something else. Okay, this is a... Uh... Okay, so this is for one person. That person's not working. Okay. Uh does have abundance okay doing some internal work and is a very private person okay so we've got what their personality is like this particular person let's get a card on them what's this okay the empress
Okay, so I would, this is what it's telling me that you, this calling for you to bring your A game to the table for this Aquarius. This Aquarius might have you dancing on your toes. All right, so let's flip that. Okay, so, um, right. So you have to be really firm in your energy and sure, because if you come with a, a not sure energy, then um, it, it, it may not flow as easily as you want, but I feel like it will. Just uh, do some meditation and, and fun things, right, uh, before you make that choice. Let's pull another card. King of Shells. Okay, so now this is a different story. The Visionary. Okay, so let's read that one. Oh, that makes sense. It's like that Uranus energy. Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. Okay, they, they might seem like a rebel, and that might be appealing to you, but get ready to uh, get ready to move with the energy. That's what the message is. Okay, all right. King of Shells. Visionary. Okay. Yes. The king of shells, upright, seems younger than his years. His creative balance, engaged approach to life and love have, uh, have staved the ravages of the age. What? Ravages of the age that afflict those less in harmony with the divine forces we see swirling around his head. He is a renaissance man, inventor, accomplished artist, and well-read scholar. Okay. His gaze is direct and friendly, but he is no fool. He is as sensitive and psychic as any in his family and uses this tool as one of many for enlightened rule of his kingdom. His psychic gifts are second nature to him. He is a true visionary who reads people and omens as well as he uses his creative powers to realize his visions. He is a counselor, counselor of counselors. You will soon meet or be called upon to emulate the qualities of person like a king of shells upright. You need to understand why strong feelings have surfaced and how to cope with them. Do not repress your emotions. View your life as a work of art and your art as a work of life. A time to experience a deep, long-lasting love and contentment approaches. Learn what gifts you have to give as a lover, parent, counselor, and friend. Give advice only to those you know and are ready to hear it and to act on it. Study the teachings of a favorite spiritual master or philosopher. Visualize the true love you seek, and you will realize it. All right. All right. You work for that one. <laughs> okay, now Pisces. Woo. All right. Pisces. Okay, frustration. Okay, death reverse and Okay, so this whoever this person is is 
frustrated and not listening to the changes, the transformation call within, and uh, missed some signals there. So I'm not sure who, who this is, but uh, so that would be a no on that one. You would know who that is. So if that's you, then uh, there may you may not be ready, right? Okay, so strength's coming out next. Okay, so you got to be open, right, to do this. Okay. Let's put that one back in there. Re-evaluation, okay, and possessiveness. Okay, and Princess of Gems. Okay, the ingenue, so. Okay, so uh, maybe on both sides there's like assessing of energies going on, but I feel like it would be positive because the one thing is uh, it's the same, you know, sun sign energy so I, there would be some commonality there i think just for with that okay all right so let's see but of course we've got all we can harness any energy so let's see the ingenue princess of gems All right, here we go. It says, yes. Okay. The princess of gems upright prepares to play the flute she has made in the garden. She has planted. Oh, okay, some music. Doing some music might be nice. Okay. All right. Many city dwellers in her kingdom think she is naive and unsophisticated. That's what I was saying in another reading a couple days ago. Yeah. But those who know that we all live off the land see her clearly as being one, one with the world and gives her life. She's not afraid of getting her hands dirty or, or of any honest work. She loves and communicates with the plants, plants and animals in spirit of all things, even gems and rocks. She is wealthy because she knows how to live off the land and how to get what she wants. She is sen sensuality personified. You will soon encounter or explore in your own life the qualities of a person like the princess of gems. Be practical, per, uh, persevere, and trust your natural instincts. Don't be afraid of seeming naive or unsophisticated. A new partner will be down to earth, good with his or her hands, and or able to create wealth in some way. The communication of practical information and or useful skills uh, will aid you in your search for true love. A new business idea could evolve. That process will create loyal and supportive relationship. Your work or career is very important to you now. Yeah, a lot of um, Pisces that came up in the readings. Okay, a new business idea could evolve. That process will create loyal and supportive relationships. Your work or career is very important to you now. A hands-on person who is connected with your business interests may become your new love interest. You may work together for money, charity, or hobbies and crafts such as home renovation. Gardening pets or classes may also improve your love life in many ways. Ooh. Okay, so it sounds promising. Okay, now here we go. The five, I wrote it on this board. <laughs> okay. And it's kind of um, 
scribbly, so let me read them out. Okay, so these are the five things that um, I thought that uh, somebody could do and have some fun for uh, Valentine's Day. Okay, um, hand henna art. Okay, so uh, like you could do uh, each other's henna art on the hands. I thought that would be nice. Okay, and um, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, okay, or use latex body paint. Okay, and then here is strawberry, making strawberry chocolates, like strawberries, dips, and chocolates together. Okay, and then um, number four, uh, each do a self-portrait and exchange it. Okay, so I was at first thinking, okay, well, uh, you could do like uh, each other's portrait, but then <laughs> depending on your artistry, it could it could have got, gone the other direction. So <laughs> you can choose. But um, so if you have mad skills at art, you you might do the each other's uh, uh, portrait. Okay. All right, but if not, keep it to the self-portrait <laughs> and then exchange it. <laughs> okay, all right, number five. Um, oh, okay, poetry reading and um, picnic. Okay, but then you can combine all those. Um, you could do an indoor picnic too, if even if it's uh, snowing outside. Okay. And those are my suggestions for a fun Valentine's Day. Okay, some ideas that came up with, real short ones. Okay, and I leave you with that, Pisces singles. Thank you.